These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, what we're going to showcase is how can you take a PlayStation 1 game that happens to have multiple bin files and a single Q file and save that as a single dot bin and a single dot Q file. Why do you want to do this? Well, maybe you have like a modded PS3 where it needs a single bin, a single Q to play the PlayStation 1 games properly. Maybe you're doing like a pop starter method on a PS2 that's modded and you need to convert it to a VCD file, the correct file format, but you need a single bin file, a single Q file, for example. Or maybe you have some other reason, some other project that requires a single bin and Q. Whatever the reason may be, today's tutorial will get you over that hurdle and get you further on your journey. So let's do this. One of the first things you need is a program called CD Mage. Go to the video description, download the latest beta version, and save it on your computer's desktop as an, as an example. And then go ahead and have a PlayStation 1 game that you can test here. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the program. And just so you guys know, I'm using 1.02.1. It's actually the latest beta version. Top left-hand corner, go to File, Open. I'm going to go to my desktop, go into my game folder, which is Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And we see that there's 30 bin files. Well, what you want to do is select the Q file, say Open. And then it's going to look very similar to this screen here. Okay, make sure your Q file in the top left hand corner is highlighted or selected already. File, save as. I'm gonna make a new folder. You don't have to, but I'm going to make a new folder, say new bin Q. And then I'm gonna save the Q file in here. Keep it as default, press OK. And now we're gonna go through the progress bar meter here for saving. And once it's completed, we'll have a single bin, a single Q file. It's awesome. All right, let's check it out. So now we go to here, go to here. Here we go, single bin, single Q. I'm gonna open up the Q file just for kicks. Here's all the audio tracks. It did it properly, awesome. Now I can put it on my PS3, I can put it on my PS2. If I wanted to, for whatever reason, I could burn it to a disc and, and go from there. So that is today's video tutorial on how to convert multiple bin files with a Q file into a single bin and a single .Q. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.